doing? No. I'm analyzing the ship's time-space regulator for defects. How do you do that? Oh, by reading the mathematical computations, identifying imperfections, and rewriting the software. Duh. Wow, that's cool! Can I watch? No. Oh! What's this button do? Ow! Oh. Shouldn't Tad Russell be showing you the proper method for headbutting or something? Aw, uh, come on. At least tell me how history gets all screwed up. I don't understand. <sighs> okay, if I do, will you leave me alone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, buddy, it's headbutting time! <clears throat> Not right now. Larry's about to teach me something. Oh, this ought to be rich. Hmm. Okay, think of time as a section of rope. Boring! <clears throat> as Earth moves forward through time, more rope is formed. Recently it was discovered that as time grew older, it began to decay or unravel, as it were. And this disintegration of the past begins to create disastrous results in our future. Let's say that because of this instability in the past, the dodo bird never becomes extinct. And because of this, a young Henry Ford is attacked by one of these filthy creatures. He is so traumatized by the experience that he never invents the auto assembly line or the Model T. Without this primitive automobile as a jumping off point, we in the future are suddenly without our fancy solar-powered hover cars. That's why we have to constantly repair the path and keep our future strong. Thank you and good night. Uh, wait, wait. Go back to that rope part again. <sighs> This mess! Say, uh, who is this, uh, Napo Leon guy? That's Napoleon. He ruled over France in 1796 and soon after conquered all of Europe. Well, I guess we better go see what his problem is. Hey, come on, Professor. Let's go fix that top rope. Ooh. <laughs> Yes, Napoleon. The Austrians are sure to be crushed by the might of your fierce army. I do believe this will be your brightest hour. Maybe that little kid over there can tell us. Uh, excuse me there, little fella. Whoa! Hey! Uh, you should not be playing with sharp things, little guy. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Chad Russell, stop! That's Napoleon! Oh, do I have to? He's so cute. Put him down! I ever did Larry, quick! Tell him we're sorry! <clears throat> Mon venerable empereur, je vous prie de bien vouloir. Non! <whistles> Croyez-moi, votre excellence. No, oh, forget it. So, it's a fight they want, huh? Well, like. Oh, man, I forgot to charge the batteries on this thing. That's what? That's what? what? <laughs> What do you say? We're going to be beheaded. Oh. <gasps> beheaded? No, we're done for. That's right. That's right. Wow. 
He asked which one of us will go first. Well, I guess it's up to me to do the right thing. Uh, whatever. Oh, I can't look! I'm gonna miss you, Buckethead. <laughs> Napoleon Francis Photograph! What do you think you are doing? <sighs> you are supposed to be home with the kids! Hey, who's the hairdo? That's Josephine Bonaparte, Napoleon's wife. The kitchen has a stack of dishes this tall, and the grass on the lawn is just as high. You better march your butt home, little mister. That is fine. Bring your little friends. You're going to need all the help you can get with all the work you have to do. Now move it, Buster! <laughs> uh, does anyone have a crescent drench? Once you were ruler of France, your conquering days were over. But you haven't slowed down one bit. It's always conquer this and conquer that. Well, now it's my turn to discover who I am. I've already signed up for classes at the local community college. So I'm going to need you at home from now on. Forget it. That is final. <sighs> Man, that guy is whipped. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. How is Napoleon going to conquer all of Europe if he's supposed to stay home from now on? We have to figure out some way to get him out of the house and back on the battlefield where he belongs. Now you boys have a lot of work to do, so I suggest you get started. I have my first ceramics class today. Don't forget to make dinner. I like chicken. Well, we better get to work. Hey! Wait! Wait! Why do I have to take care of the baby? Wait for me, guys! Sorry, Larry! Oh, help! The babies are finally asleep. Oh, and little Napoleon the Fourth said his first word today. <gasps> poo poo. Ahem. Ahem. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, say, uh, Napoleon, how's about you and me and the boys grab up your army and uh, I don't know, go conquer all of Egypt or something? <sighs> oh, she don't even have to know about it. <laughs> We got us a plan all worked out. What do you say? Not so good. I sort of caused a minor kiln explosion. There were some injuries. I don't think pottery is my thing. But I've got the cooking class tomorrow. C'est la vie. Could be so much fun! <laughs> 
kid, you got real talent. Where'd you learn to handle a musket like that? I guess I just found my calling. Left foot, ah, foot or three. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. I suppose pillaging just comes naturally to those of us who love to shop. <laughs> Do I smell gunpowder? Uh, uh, put the day for the day. Uh, uh, you haven't been out conquering again, have you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hmm. Okay, but I am keeping an eye on you. Well, alrighty then. Rise and shine. <sighs> okay, boys! I am learning how to make a casserole in cooking class today, so tonight I'll be making dinner. Okay? Au revoir! Better order a pizza. Sorry, guys. Guys? Oh, Napoleon! Well, so much for Italy. To Napoleon, our great leader! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy! <laughs> you fool! He made me late for my music class. I better see you all tonight at my piano recital. Huh. Don't be late. That could have gone better. Mmm, 
chicken catch a Tory. feelings too, you know. Oh, you poor little fellow. Did he hurt you? <coughs> ah, duty calls. <coughs> Brute. I'll deal with you later. Hey, it's Confucius! He's one of the most important philosophers of all time. His concise sayings on the subject of duty, learning, and filial piety are a cornerstone of the Asian civilization. Oh, they're all punks. These historical big shots. Man, I'd just soon lock them up and throw away the key. Uh, Confucius say, he who acts like an ape smells like a monkey. Use your smarty pants, I know everything about everything, la de da Oh, hello. That's quite an epic you're writing there. Ah, oh, customers. You here to buy book? No, thanks. We're just browsing. Ah, oh, that's always the problem. Confucius has much to share with the world about wisdom and harmony. But nobody wants to buy Confucius's books. <laughs> Gee, I can't imagine why. No, no, please, wait. Uh, Confucius, read you book. Then you buy. That's really not... Chapter one. Necessary. Many years ago, in a village far away. And so he lived out his years a wiser man. The end. What you think? <laughs> All right, what was the poor lad's story? Simply that he who knows nothing doubts nothing. Right. Okay, thanks for the story. <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, looks like we found our problem. Oh, those books are huge! He who knows nothing doubts nothing. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Wait a minute. Was he talking about me? I've seen dictionaries with less words than that. Hey, man, I know stuff. Some stuff. Oh, he wasn't talking about me. If we could just get Confucius to boil his books down to bite-sized phrases, I bet he could get people's attention. Well, I'm starting to doubt myself. So does that mean I know nothing? Hey! That guy just insulted me! I'll talk to him. No, let me take care of this kid. You sure? I'll show him bite-sized phrases. Hey, wanna go get egg rolls? Yeah! Aha! You decide to buy book? So, you think you're better than me? What? Last 
won. I don't get it. No, he doesn't get it. Looks like I'm gonna have to give Mr. Enlightened a little tough love. Minus the love. Wait, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Oh well. Wanna get some fireworks? Sure. You change your mind about book? Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Man, for a smart guy, he sure is dumb. What did he say when you asked him to shorten his books? What do you mean? You did talk to him about shortening his books, right? Ooh. Was I supposed to tell him about that? Oops. You beat him like a microwave and you didn't tell him why? You're a lunatic! Let me go talk to him. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Confucius? Ah! You think you could shorten your books down to little catchy phrases? Sure, Confucius, do anything you say. It just don't hurt. Oh, I can't wait to get a little souvenir. Confucius say virtue better than wealth. That's awesome. I'll take three. Looks like you're finally getting the word out, eh, Mr. Confucius? Yes, thanks to you and that horrible bully, Confucius's books are selling like hotcake. Well, just goes to show, he who, uh, writes books, uh, better watch his butt. Oh, <laughs> let's get going, Tud Russell. Sheesh.